Tonight we got a couple of great matchups uh, coming up here very shortly. We have Dirty Birds versus the Final Stand. This is the Cal I Am uh, Week One playoffs. Um, so Cal Intermediate Week One playoffs is about to start. Or uh, pretty much have everybody on the channel uh, just waiting on one person from each team. Here with me tonight is Total Science, our brand new broadcaster, alongside me, Big Daddy Shanks. So welcome aboard, Total. Thanks, Shanks. I appreciate that. And I'm really looking forward to uh, an awesome stay here at EREF. Awesome. Now, it uh, sounds like you did your homework for today. Uh, talked to both teams. Kind of got uh, a rundown on uh, what we can expect here tonight. Uh, what do you got on that end? Let me go ahead and open up my zip file here on TFS and Dirty Birds. Let's see. Let's start with TFS, Shanks. All right. I talked to <clears throat> I talked to the leader Copeland today, and uh, I got a, a weapon rundown, a hometown rundown. I got a couple player facts. I think you guys will find interesting. Uh, let's start with uh, Soleil, who's on shotgun. Soleil also checks in from Texas. Uh, Copeland, who is their leader, he's going to snipe or bolt, depending on the situation. He says he hails from New Jersey. Unique, he's uh, their grand or Tommy, depending. Uh, he hails from Colorado. Cujo, he's going to be Tommy. That's, that's the only weapon the guy's using, apparently. <laughs> and he hails from <laughs> both sides, he's using Tommy Shanks. He, Shanks. And he hails from Canada. Uh, Brawler, he's going to be Granding. He hails from Boston. Uh, I was talking to Copeland, and he said uh, Volta would be starting, but his net is, starting, but his net is down. So <clears throat> TFS has a... Uh, one uh, <laughs> one stand-in. We'll see. I have I have a feeling that stand-in is uh, going to do just fine, though. Uh, a couple of interesting facts on uh, yeah, and uh, I'll go TFS. ahead and uh, give you give you a little rundown Copeland. on the TFS side before you continue there. Uh, what I have uh, as far as people on the server right now, I do have Copeland uh, <laughs> Soli or uh, named in the server Soli Zilla. So uh, I don't know if we want to call him Soli or Soli. Uh, we also got Cujo. Brawler and uh, Unique, uh, who you uh, already mentioned before. Uh, you got anything else on the TFS side before we hit over the rundown on the um, Dirty Bird side? Yeah, I thought I'd throw this in. Uh, <clears throat> Copeland will not be playing too much longer as he is going into a full athletic scholarship at Fairleigh Dixon College. Interesting. Ooh. There's an athlete there. It says you can't be an athlete and play video games. I thought it was the same thing. <laughs> Apparently, our producer behind the scenes says uh, he does, but uh, we haven't seen. A, I haven't <laughs> seen a picture of him. <laughs> yeah, all uh, all 400 pounds of him. But uh, looks like everybody on the Dirty Bird side is right, uh, ready up. So why don't you just give us a quick rundown of the Dirty Bird side here, Total? Okay, I talked to Farox earlier, and he was. Uh, I'm not going to try to say this guy's name, but it's JTF2, and he is their shoddy. He hails from Canada. Bunswack is the sniper on both sides, bottom line. Bun <coughs> Bunswack's from Denton, Texas, a.k.a. Dallas. And Ferox is an M1 Grand on Allies and an MP44 on Axis. He hails from Oklahoma. Laundry will have a rifle on Axis and most likely a Grand on Allies. He hails from Indiana. Funny JPEG, he's coming in as a backup, so uh, gives both teams a backup. <coughs> Funny... Uh, Farrakh says uh, Funny JPEG is one of their better guns. He just doesn't play a lot with them all the time. And he'll, he's going to be using an MG. I have a couple interesting facts. Is that we have time for some facts on Dirty Bird? Yeah, real quick, we're going to have you and our producer ready up here so we can get started as, uh, as we need to. And there we go. I get kicked for a PB update, which I've already done. So I'm going to try and reconnect here. And hopefully this doesn't happen any further. But go ahead there, Total. <laughs> Farrakh says hacks on uh, Shanks. <laughs> yeah, we actually had this problem with uh, with our video guy the last time. Uh, he thought his uh, punk buster was updated, but apparently not. So we got that figured out. Hopefully this isn't going to happen anymore. But if it does, uh, i tell you what there, Total, you're in for a surprise because you'll be doing a cast on your own while I get my stuff updated. But uh, again, as I ready up here, uh, just waiting for the last couple people, we got more action coming up tonight, 10 o'clock. Eastern, we have more Call of Duty 2 coverage as we're bringing you eFlow versus Slash Trend, and that's going to be your Cal main 
uh, match of the week there, uh, voted uh, voted by you, the community out there. So uh, we're going to be broadcasting them. So another uh, another exciting match that uh, we're going to be looking forward to covering. And uh, yeah, I don't I, I don't know if we're uh, going to be button up streams, so we we may stay live the whole time and go over to the other match. If this one gets done early, we may shut it down for a few minutes and then hop into the other server. But uh, we'll walk down that road as we get there. And uh, again, we're just waiting for the last three people of the uh, final stand ready up. Everybody over in the Dirty Birds ready up. Again, welcome everybody to the uh, Electronic Revolution TV broadcast. We'd love if everybody uh, watching tonight could register on our forums at www.e-rev.tv. All kinds of stuff going on there. Uh, you can put your match requests in. You can talk to our, our broadcasting staff about anything. Uh, what can we do for you in the future to uh, make this viewing experience better for you? And also, if you want to stay involved tonight, get on IRC. It's pound e-rev on the Game Surge Network. So get on there. Idle perform us. And uh, tonight we got the, the two of us that can take your shout-outs. Uh, what you're going to be looking for is Erev Cod Two Shanks, and then also Erev Total. Uh, we're we're both your broadcasters tonight, so we'll be taking those shout-outs as we get a break. So uh, yeah, we'll get them live and on the air for you. Looking for the last guy to ready it up. Total, any uh, last comments before we get things going here? Uh, no, I'm just super excited. I think this is going to be a really good match. Uh, both teams look really even. Uh, talking to both teams, they uh, they seem to uh, know what was going on tonight and who was doing what. So I think that we're going to see some strategy here played out uh, to its best. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to start out on the Dirty Bird side. That's going to be the British side. They're going the offensive side. We have the A or B plant they can possibly go to. So I'm going to watch Bunzlack as he's uh, trying to clear the cross, not seeing anybody cross. Yes, he does, but the smoke goes down in the middle, and he tries to pull off a shot, and it doesn't go off. So let's see what they're doing. Looks like they are making a B rush, but they do have one guy on the flank on the A side. No deaths as of yet, as 15 uh, seconds has expired. Uh, now that they have made their way on the east side, uh, they've kind of pulled back a little bit. And there you have it. JTF2 getting the first kill. Ferox coming up with him, getting a bolt shot into Sully. So uh, now it's a five on three situation as it looks like the Dirty Birds have made their way over towards the B bomb site. And JT getting another headshot in. So uh, Brunswick coming in with a bolt shot of his own. So now one guy left, and we're going to follow who that is. That's going to be Brawler. Has made his way down the mid street, actually towards the British spawn. So he went through the smoke and passed everybody up. Um, so it's uh, going to be fairly quiet, and the bomb has been planted at the uh, B bomb site. So go ahead there. All right, everybody's just kind of chilling back. I'm looking for a brawler. There's brawler. He's creeping up from the uh, east side. Sees a player. There you go. Chimney taking shots at chimney misses. Ah, brawler. He's working it though. Yeah, it looks like they have found him. And there you have it. Landry, last one to go down. So there it is. Team Ace for the Dirty Birds as they go up one to nothing total. Shanks, uh, you know, I'm going to have to uh, get used to this here. It's, it's fast paced watching from uh, somebody else's view. I'm going to go ahead <laughs> and focus right. in on. <laughs> I'm going to focus in on Bunzo. He goes right up, throws a set nade, backs up with his sniper, mounts in the middle street. So they're just taking it slow again this round. Three guys east taking a slow Bunswack watches the middle with Sniper. JTF is on top of a jail roof taking peaks and jumps. Sees a player at A. Nades up. JTF, let's see. No luck with that nade, JTF, but he moves He moves under jail looking around. Oh, Brawler sees JTF come right to the middle and hits him with a sniper shot to the head. Oof. It's All right, a, uh, you got a minute, a minute 22 left here as it's a four-on-three situation as uh, JTF2 and Ferox, the guys down for the Dirty Bird side, and only Cujo down on the TFS side. You seeing anything happen over at the B-bomb site there, Total? Yeah, Brunswick takes out Copeland with a uh, with his sniper, and I also, so Liz, I cannot say his name, takes out Funny JPEG shoddy around the B-tank. All right, so it's looking good. 3v1 here for uh, <clears throat> TFS. They're all just hanging back, playing smart. There you go, brawler in the laundry, making it a 1v1. 
Yeah, and I'm tucking all these scored. names. I know. Uh, <laughs> I know. Uh, <laughs> Sully, Sully's a hard one. I don't, I don't care what you call him if uh, if it's hard to pronounce. We'll certainly do our best. But also uh, Landry, not known as Laundry, but here I'll pick up round number three. As Britta start off again, uh, looks like they are going to make a B push, so they're liking this B push side, and it's only worked for them uh, one time. As Bunswack again with the scope has made his way onto the British roof. He's taken fire but hasn't gotten hit. As we're only about 15 seconds into the round, as the smoke has gone down in the middle, uh, he's got four teammates. As Bunswack is up on the roof, and there you have it, Unique with the first kill on the JTF2. That's going to be a bolt shot to put uh, the Dirty Birds one man down. As they have made it up towards the, uh, I believe, the B bomb site. Yeah. Yeah, they are. They're pushing really slowly. They haven't managed to get a rush in. Uh, but uh, now smoke goes out again on top of the tank. And a lot of shots being fired. And there you have it, Brawler, with another kill into Bunswack. So now uh, three on five disadvantage for the Dirty Birds team. And uh, total, you seeing anything on the, uh, the final stand team? I am. I am seeing a flank. <clears throat> They're pushing in from uh, A-bomb. And uh, they're all pushing in. We have Cujo. He's in the middle now. He moved out of A. I think they are uh, pretty set on where everybody from uh, Dirty Birds is at at this point. Oh. On the left, 3v1. Yeah, and it uh, looks like a TFS did take another person, uh, or excuse me, did a team kill. As we're following Landry, the last guy oh, the oh, oh, gets a headshot. Unbelievable in shot. Great shot there by Landry. So uh, he's certainly going to try here. Uh, he's going to have a hard time getting to the B bomb site because I think the other two, yeah, they got uh, they got B covered. But uh, Cujo is sitting in the market area watching the flanks of TFS playing it smart. They're not stacking the B bomb site. They're trying to figure out what Landry's going to do. And Landry has made it into the B bomb site. He's going to jump over, taking some shots. Finds out where where that person was. Uh, may make the plant, may do a fake, but he's sitting on the back side of the B bomb site. And uh, looks like they're uh, coming up on him in twos. Left and right side, they found him. Takes a hit, but no, Cujo uh, puts a 44 in the Landry. So good effort by Landry there, but uh, not good enough. Uh, needs, uh, needs the rest of his team around to win the round. So TFS takes that one, putting their team up 2-1 to one over Dirty Birds. I think Dirty Birds wants this. Let's see. I'm going to check out next round here, and, I, and I'm, going to, I'm going to take a wild guess and say Dirty Birds just go off this round. Let's see, Shanks. I'm going to file Bunswack. He's looking at the cubby hole there. It's fine. I think he's going to snipe. Yep, Bunswack goes in a snipe. Let's take a look at him. Bunswack taking it real easy. Smoke is up in the middle. <clears throat> <laughs> Brawler firing away with the MG from spawn. Doesn't hit anybody. JTF making his way through the smoke from allies. Working his way up to B bomb site. Sees, I'm not sure who that was, but he's taking shots at B bomb site. So we got four guys making their way to B right now in a 4v5 situation. <clears throat> Axis up 5 to 4. All right, we're not seeing a whole lot going on, but again, the Dirty Birds are over on the east side, and Copeland and Sully getting uh, kills of their own, putting the uh, uh, Dirty Birds down two on five. We got Bunswack and Ferox, the ones that are left. Uh, they're both over in the east alleys right now. As Ferox with the shotty is going to start peeking his way out a little bit. Uh, I think he hears somebody. Oh, and he sees them behind the boxes, but backs off smart enough. And there you have it, Bunswack with a kill on a Copeland. Putting things closer, but Sully coming up on the flank, putting Ferox down. So now Bunswack, last one left, and Sully gets a double kill, putting Bunswack down, and there you have it, TFS going up uh, two rounds uh, above the, uh, the Dirty Birds team, and again, German is a little bit easier on this map, but from what I hear, I, I think Dirty Birds should be doing a little bit better. I don't know what you think there, uh, Total. Uh, well, that, was, that was my first and very last prediction on E-Rev. <laughs> I will not predict another round. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. <laughs> All right, Bunswag, same. He's back in college taking shots away at uh, B. Bomb out. Four guys at B. They're really pushing B hard this round. Let's see what happens. Because uh, TFS is split. They got 2A and 2B. And uh, <clears throat> 30 Birds is moving all four guys. Now moving the fifth man over to B. Let's see what happens here. Taking shots. He fires away with the grand... At the t B tank doesn't hit anybody, but Copeland in the laundry with a looks like a grand shot. 
I'm fumbling all over myself here, uh, Shanks. Yeah, that's right. Well, there's a big battle going down at B. I'll kind of fill in a little bit. As there you go, funny JPEG. <laughs> Thank you. Hitting it into Copeland and Ferox getting a double kill in the brawler and Solly. So uh, there you have it. Dirty Birds uh, tying things up. Well, actually, it's three on two advantage for them as the plant is going down. The plant has the plant has been uh, planted <laughs> and uh, Cujo getting a headshot into Ferox. So now I'm stumbling over my words as it now is a two on one. I think I'm just tweaking it all. <laughs> <laughs> you need the last one left, getting a hit, and it looks like he's going to come through with a kill, and now Bumswack getting in with the bash, as Unique awesome. made the jump off the east roof, so that was, uh, that was huge. Uh, and uh, there you have it, uh, Dirty Birds coming up with a round, putting themselves within one as it's 3-2 uh, to two TFS on top of Dirty Birds. I'm going to go ahead and follow uh, <clears throat> TFS this round, if that's okay. View TFS. Cujo, the, the, I think we got an A-bomb rush. What do you think there? Uh, can, there you go, grenade. JTF2 into Cujo with a nade. Set nade at A-bomb. A-push, here we go. It's going down. For rocks and a brawler. Landry into Zoe. Copeland into Frox and Unique into JTF, making it a... 2v1 situation in favor of TFS. Yeah, what I'm seeing over here is we got Landry up on top of the A stairs. He's seeing somebody up on the A roof. Doesn't know where the other guy is, and uh, Copeland is actually sneaking right underneath him. He's got the scope. And there you go, Unique finds Landry and puts a bolt in him. And uh, that picks up another round for TFS, but him up on top. 4-2, to two, folks, get on IRC. Pound E hyphen Rev on the Game Surge Network. We'll get your shout-outs live and on the air. We'll see how much time we have at halftime, but we'll certainly get them as the match is over, as we'll pick it up with the Dirty Birds side as we have again Bunswack guy he kind of just sits back in his little cubby hasn't been able to connect with anybody yet so I'm going to try and scroll over to where the action is and JTF2 getting the grand shot into Cujo uh, so that puts TFS down a player as it uh, looks like they are uh, let's see what they're trying to do they are doing a split rush they got three guys over on the east side two guys hanging back maybe looking into the A-bomb site as I'm following funny JPEG up on the east roofs he's uh, he's got a grand he's looking through smoke to see if he can see anybody on the A-roofs and now he finally makes his way uh, up onto the uh, ladder roof, hearing somebody over at the B bomb site. So uh, we're not seeing much as he throws out a nade, trying to find anybody. So I'm going to have to scroll over to somebody else. And it looks like Ferox, he's the one with the shot. He's going to come out. He's going to rush out to the tech. And uh, Soli finds him through the smoke, putting a bolt shot into him. And Copeland getting a 44. And a funny JPEG unique getting a kill of his own. Oh, Copeland so, going off. Two, two, two MP44s within two seconds. Excellent shot. Copeland went off, right face. He goes down. <laughs> Who took Copeland down? I didn't get to see that, uh, Shanks. No, I didn't see it, but I'm going to assume it's Bunswack because he's the last guy left. He tries to put the plant down, but Soli comes on his flank, puts a headshot into him, and, uh, yeah, and there you have it. Uh, TFS picking up yet another round. 5-2 to two is your score. TFS on the German side over Dirty Birds on the British side. Kind of looking to see a little bit more out of the uh, Dirty Birds side. I have had the opportunity to play them in some TDM uh, and whatnot. Uh, I know they're, uh, they, they have some great shots on their team. And uh, yeah, we'll see what they can do. So back to total. Let's see what's happening on the uh, Dirty Bird side. I'm going to go ahead and push all the way up with JTF2. He's uh, a bomb side. He's watching flank. He's taking a look at B. I think he just saw a guy over there at B. He's going back to A. I think he's uh, predicting a flank here. I'm going to go ahead and move up Funny JPEG. He's up front on the B. He's going to scout for uh, <clears throat> Dirty Birds on the B bomb site with his grand. He's just looking around, taking his time there. Here you go. Set nade from Funny JPEG. Let's see what happens. And he moves up. No luck with the set nade. Sees the guy back, back trucks, makes his way around. Fires away with the granite back truck. Misses, gets hit in return. Turns around. He finds the guy right behind him in the main. Street, no action there. Just kind of everything kind of relaxed there for a second. I think uh, both teams took a, a few deaths and decided to chill. Oh, there you have it. Copeland with a, oh, that's a scope shot and a bunzlack. Uh, so Ferox and Funny 
Last one's left as we're looking. Funny is in the mid uh, mid court right now, pushing his way in and uh, taking Brawler down. But Copeland around on the flank, uh, scoping him out. So Copeland getting a couple kills. Looking at Ferox, uh, and he is all the way over on the east side by the east truck. Uh, not seeing anybody right now. So here's somebody back in the B trying to kind of bait him out a little bit. And uh, I think the rest of the team's flanking. And there you have it, Copeland with yet another kill in the Ferox. And I'm going to come through and see how many he got. And actually, there you have it, three kills for. Copeland in that round, unique on the uh, uh, on the TFS side, also getting two kills of his own. So now TFS up six to two over Dirty Birds. I'm gonna go aerial on this <clears throat> Shanks, and let's see what's going on. We got a two A this time. It's an A push. Actually, they're all going A, so it's a full-on A push. <clears throat> Here we go. Action's about to start. Firing away at the. It's a four-on two over at A. Funny, JPEG takes out Cujo with his grand. And uh, Brawler returns wow. kill with laundry. Oh my god, double shot MP44. That's the same guy from before. He's getting two in a row within five seconds, MP44. So it's a 3v1 Brawler over there at A, and uh, Plant is going down. B bomb site, let's see. They know where he's at. Shanks, they they know exactly where he's at. He just got a kill, so one's why close up behind the uh, <clears throat> B truck, watching the plant and brawler moving around. He is on a roof. I think he uh, knows he's <laughs> he's pinned in a sense. Oh, sees a dead body. Goes <laughs> and it moves on. one on two. Oh, Bunswack sees brawler in the middle, takes him out with the easy. Uh, that was a stolen. Uh, Car 98, I believe. Nice try. Yeah, you're probably right. And now it is a 6-3 to three score as the Dirty Birds finally pick up a round. They haven't got one in a while. And it is count rules, so this is the final round for the first half. So let's see what the Dirty Birds team can do. As uh, looks like they are making a 4-2 uh, split. They got two going down the middle. Uh, excuse me, a 3-2 split. As they got uh, three going down the east side, two going up the middle. As JTF2 making his way through the middle, taking a bull chop, but not connecting with anybody. As funny JPEGs over on the east roof uh, with his buddy Landry. And Sully coming in with a shotty Ooh. shot into Ferox. Ferox, the shotgunner for the Dirty Birds team. So the shotgunner is awfully close to these guys over on the East Roofs. I'm sure they're trying to figure out where this guy is. Bunswack, the scope, over on the garage roof, trying to figure out where all this gunfire is happening. So everybody kind of staying down a little bit as we'll try and figure out what this Dirty Birds team is going to do to try and break their way into the B-bomb site. And uh, again, it's a, a four on five disadvantage for them as they hear some gunfire coming from the B-bomb site. Scope moving his way around the East, still trying to spot somebody but not seeing anything so oh and there you have it Bunswack and oh Copeland getting the headshot into Bunswack so Bunswack not doing his job as far as a sniper goes and now uh, JT getting the headshot into Cujo and Brawler putting the MG shot into JTF2 so now two on four situation has now funny comes in and puts down Copeland, but Brawler uh, backing his buddy up with a rifle into funny. So last guy left is going to be Landry, and Brawler finding him with a bolt with 30 seconds left in the round, and uh, that puts TFS up seven to three going into halftime. I don't know what you think of that half there, uh, total. I excellent half. I think uh, <clears throat> I think uh, Dirty Birds ran into a little trouble when their B kind of fell apart there. And uh, TFS put the moves on that B and, and really, really felt them out those first two rounds. So let's see. I, th I think uh, Dirty Birds is going to surprise us on Axis here. I know those guys are tough and that they're not, uh, they're not having a freak out session right now. I would seriously doubt that, Shanks. Good, good. All right. Well, we're going to have you ready up because you're the last one total, so you're holding everybody back here, buddy. That's the that's story of my life, Shanks. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, it's all good, uh, good fun over here at E-Rev. So uh, here we go. Uh, we are bringing you in the second half. We didn't have a whole lot of time to do the shout-outs, but certainly get your shout-outs to uh, 
ERAV caught two shanks, and also ERAV total uh, on pound E hyphen rev on the Game Surge Network. We'll get those out to you as we're going to pick it up with the final stand as they're going to do their offensive push. And it looks like they are going to be doing a middle push with a little bit towards A as they're waiting for all the nades to come over. A lot of, uh, a lot of delayed nades as Unique coming out with the first kill, and that's going to be a pineapple and a bunzo axe. So now a uh, five on four situation as it looks like final team, uh, the final stand is making a 3 2 split. Cujo trying to bust his way in A, but I'm going to go over towards the east side to see what they're doing. We've got Brawler over in the east truck. Smoke has gone down, trying to find out who's back in the usual B truck. Uh, he's not seeing anything, but the smoke is great. Uh, it's, it's blocked out the guy uh, in the truck, so there you have it. Cujo with a headshot on the Furox. So now five on three situation as there's gunfire going down. JTF2 and Funny getting kills on the Dirty Bird side, so that evening up three on three. As we have Brawler, Copeland, and Cujo up against JTF2, Funny, and Landry as the uh, TFS has done a complete reversal and put the plant down on the A bomb site. Um, so uh, still a battle raging over at the B bomb site, but again, plant has gone down at A, and Brawler, there you have it. Putting the grand shot into JTF2, giving them a three-on-two advantage as we got Funny uh, making his way around, taking some hits from a Thompson. Uh, he's one of the last two guys left, uh, Funny and Landry. Uh, Landry kind of not doing it real big for his team as he's only three and nine, and Funny is seven and eight. Funny finding Brawler two beats. up on the garage roof. Cujo sees, there, uh, <laughs> Cujo sees Landry, takes a few shots. <laughs> Landry into Cujo. He returned fire and said, you're going down. That's it. Wow. Dirty Birds take the round. It was a, was it 4v2 or 3v2? I Excellent think it was a 4v2 for Dirty Birds. situation. And they split the bomb, reversed it, and DB turns around and defuses the bomb. Excellent move by DB. Yeah, that was, that was huge defense. Huge defense on the uh, <laughs> on the Dirty Bird side. I totally thought TFS was going to take that round. But go ahead, Total. Pick us up with round 12. All right, I'm going to go ahead and watch Cujo. I think he's uh, he's going to do something big this round. No, he goes in and relaxes there at spawn. I'm going to watch Unique. He's firing away with the Grand off of uh, prison there at uh, B-bomb site. And we got a 2-2 two, two split. I think I had to make it a 3-to-B, three, three 1-to-A. One to uh, JTF into Copeland, the headshot. There's two, two kills there. Cujo into JTF with a nade. He returns fire. For Rocks into Cujo, MP44 shot over at A. All right, so that's going to clear out A for a TFS. TFS is the last three guys over at B. They're moving up slow. East roofs, kind of taking shot. Oh, unique into For Rocks from roof to roof. He takes them out from B roof to A roof. Easy shot there. I don't think uh, B Rocks saw him then. <laughs> so lay into, uh, you're going to have to rewind that for me. I wasn't sure I didn't catch it. Landry into Soleil. And it's uh, Landry versus two. Bomb is planted. Landry uh, <coughs> taking his time. He's going to go ahead and <coughs> hide behind the truck. Sees both players. Oh. Oh. Nice try, Landry. Brawler into Landry with a headshot. Nice try, Landry. Yeah, and Brawler uh, up on top of the <sighs> final stand team as he's got 14 and 7. So, uh... Uh, he's on top of the final stand, JTF2, over on the other side. He's 9 and 10, so just about everybody. In fact, yeah, it is everybody on the Dirty Birds team is uh, not at a positive ratio. So we're going to pick it up with the TFS team again. Uh, they are doing a 3-2 split as they're working their way around the east side. Uh, but I'm going to fire up over a Cujo because Cujo got in a big battle that we didn't see last time. Unique getting the first nade kill of the round. So TFS going up 5-4. to four. Uh, As far as people left, we've got a minute 38 seconds left in the match as Cujo again he's over today not seeing much so I'm gonna have to scroll over uh, let's pick it up with the brawler, brawler the leader for the TFS team uh, oh no we got Firax with the 44 and the Copeland so that evens things up for TFS versus Dirty Birds as Brawler is making his way through the smoke along with one of his teammates let's see who that is uh, who's trying to make their way through the smoke that was Sully did make his way through now he's in the market with the shotgun so he's pushing through big oh and funny right around the corner with a bolt gets him as Sully goes down so now a uh, four on three advantage make that a three on three advantage as Brawler coming in with a headshot JTF2 getting a shotgun and a Brawler and Ferox following him right up with a 44 shot in the Cujo so now unique of the last one left he's on the A bomb site putting the plant down let's see where the other guys are at we got JTF2 uh, coming up onto the platform 
as uh, Funny has made his way around the North Alley. Oh my god, and Funny getting the kill. Uh, Unique had the run on him, and I don't know how Unique didn't get the kill there. But uh, Funny with the final kill getting yet another important round for the Dirty Birds. 8-5 to five is your score total. I'm going to go ahead and uh, view Copeland here. He's taking a, a A look. He goes ahead and fires away his nade, gets rid of that real quick. Two nades coming for Copeland. He's uh, just going to relax there and wait it out. All right, here we go. Copeland sees a guy in the middle with a sniper, takes a few shots. Nope, relaxes back in the guy in the middle, backs off. I think he knows Copeland's got that snipe up top bucket there. Oh! Unique peeks around the corner and sees a funny JPEG gets a headshot on him. JTF peeks around the corner himself and gets one on Copeland. Oh, I think I might have messed that up there, Shanks. It happened so fast. Landry into yeah, Soleil right. with his sniper. And let's see. Bunswack making his way through the smoke to be bomb site. <sighs> he gets taken out by Cujo, who just happened to be hanging back with his Tommy gun. Plan is down, be bomb site. And it's a 1v3 situation. And we got uh, Ferox hanging back at Axis Spawn, making his way towards the plant. I'm, uh, I'm in pan mode here, uh, Shanks and. <clears throat> Trying to see the allied players. They're in good position. And I think they have a good uh, bead on him. There we go. Brawler in the Ferox goes ahead and takes him down. It was a 3v1 situation. Uh, not that easy. No, that's tough when you're a uh, 1v3 situation. That's, uh, you know, it's not near impossible. I've seen it happen before, but it definitely doesn't happen all the time. So uh, TFS picking up on a very important round there as, uh, you know, the Dirty Birds were kind of getting some momentum there. Score is now 9-5. to five. As we're going to pick it up with a total, uh, uh, excuse me, the final stand. As they're making their way up the middle, and Brawler coming out with the first uh, shot into Funny. And Brawler again coming through and finding the shotgun solely, getting the shotty into JTF2. So now it's a uh, three on five disadvantage for the Dirty Birds as again we're following. Brawlers has made his way up onto the east roof, gets a hit over somebody at the A roof, but doesn't get the kill. Uh, the battle's going down with Unique as Unique putting down Bunswack with a Tommy. And another guy coming in. Wow, we got a big gun battle, so Unique getting another kill and putting everybody down. That's a teammates for the final stand now. Uh, as they go into the tying round, it's 10 to 5, so uh, TFS definitely come came out to play tonight. And certainly the same uh, speaking for Brawler, as he's now 18 and 8. Uh, top score for the Dirty Birds team is JTF2. Total, why don't you take this round see what see what happens. All right, uh, we got a 3-2 split. Uh, <clears throat> Unique making his way to top B roofs. Go ahead and taking it pretty fast, actually. Sees uh, one of the uh, Axis players. Take, he has a stolen 44 from last round. Firing away at the uh, Axis there on <coughs> Bubby Bomb. Sees him down the alley. Funny JPEG. Unique takes out Funny JPEG with a headshot from a 44. Ferox into Cujo. Ferox into Copeland with a headshot. <laughs> So Lay takes out JTF2, unique into Ferox, Bunswack is <laughs> unique. It's just wow. happening so fast. Yeah, that plant's going down. You can't even call when it's going down that fast. It is but I'll really this hard. round. <laughs> plant plant is down at situation. Three. Got a two on two situation. Two, the plan two, is two. down, so uh, Landry is making his way up into the bomb site. He's got the scope. His teammate, Bunswack, is over on the east side as they've uh, outflanked the uh, TFS team. I don't know if the TFS knows where uh, the uh, Dirty Birds guys are, but again, Bunswack over on the, uh, on the uh, east side. As it looks like Brawler has gone prone, he's gone into defensive position. He's not going to wait till he sees somebody. And the same goes for Shelly. He's got the shotgun uh, aimed right at the tank. So Oh, it's just gonna, it's just a matter of time before Bunswack comes up, and he's going to see somebody really shortly. And there you have it, <laughs> almost a simultaneous, simultaneous, kill by, awesome by Brawler uh, and his teammate. And that does it. It's 11 to 5 is your final score. But man, that was unbelievable. I, I could just see it happening. Uh, they did a great job uh, defending the plant, but they were on the offense as it was. Uh, let's see. I'm, I'm just looking at my screen here as it was Brawler and uh, Soli that uh, picked up the last two kills in just amazing fashion. 
So uh, just just an awesome job, and congratulations to the final stand for advancing into the uh, Cal Intermediate second round, and a good game to the Dirty Birds as, uh, you know, I, I, I can't say they played bad. You know, they had a really good run starting out on German total, uh, but uh, it just kind of fell apart there at the end. What are your thoughts? I, I think TFS just came out to play, and I think they had the guns to play with. They absolutely knew this map down. They, they, would, they were pushing to A. They would sense that they were going back to B. They had the perfect switch. I, I'm, I'm assuming on their vent it was absolute clean, quiet, and just precise. That, that's going to be my guess, Shanks. I, I don't know if I'm uh, in the right by saying that, but I'm, that's my guess. Hey, you know, um, you can throw in whatever opinions that you want. It's uh, the match is over. TFS won over Dirty Bird, so uh, anybody great, can uh, job. talk anything about either team. But in the end, TFS comes out with the win, so they do advance to Excellent. round two. And uh, I am looking over into my shoutouts, and I have a whole bunch of them. So you guys are going to have to be patient with me as I go through all these because everybody wants to hear themselves on the air, and I'm sure uh, uh, maybe you total got some as well. And, um, again, folks, tune in. Uh, I don't think we're going to keep the stream live for 20 minutes as we wait for this second matchup. Again, our matchup, 10 Eastern, we got Slash Trend taking on E-Flow. Uh, same map, but here, this is our match of the week, uh, Cal Maine. So stay tuned for that. I, th I believe it'll be on the same stream, but I'm going to go ahead and, uh, and hit some of these uh, uh, <laughs> hit some of these shout-outs here. As, uh, actually, the first one is more as I promised him I'd get in a uh, shout-out before his match started. Uh, he said, uh, just want to say good luck to both teams playing, uh, playing in the IM match, and good luck to uh, EFLOW later tonight. And uh, that's, uh, that's about it for him. Let's take a look at what we got for... Um, uh, we got one from Baron. Shout out to uh, Chad for fixing the stream from uh, Count It Boo. Uh, we got one from uh, SI7 or SIT. Uh, shout out to uh, Frag going on 10 years. Love you. Okay. I don't know who that is. But anyways, got one from Barry. Shout out to JTF2. Eh? I don't know. Whatever it is. JTF2. I love you and Rape TFS. So a little late on that one, Barry, but uh, got your shout-out uh, live and on the air. I'll do one more and uh, see what you got there. Total, I got one from uh, Char. Dirty Birds for the win. I love Bunswack. Good luck in the CTF playoffs. Uh, he also adds, uh, well, uh, nice try, DB. So uh, there you have it. What do you got over on your side, uh, Total? Because I still got about five or six of them left. Well, Shank, excuse me, Shanks, being the noob that I am to this, I, I just turned on my MIRC, but I did get a few shout-outs in advance. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking ahead there, Shanks. Too bad. Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, Winters, everybody knows and loves Winters. Winters wants to give a shout-out to the old men over at Panama Red. He also wants to give a shout-out to one of uh, another loved player out there, Cam the Psycho. That's a shout out from winners. Uh, can I give Those a few shout outs myself here? Together. Yeah, probably. <laughs> can I give a few shout outs since it's my first time just to just to get them out the way? I've got I've got 500 Absolutely. people on my X fire up, but fired up. I just I, I thought I hit off the guys that, that hit me right before the uh, the show there. Uh, I'd like to give a shout out to winners. Good friend, nice guy, um, Adam F. Dynamic Adam F. I've known that kid for. God, it's about six or seven years. I've known him since he was 11 years old, when he was actually Adam F11. Uh, let's see. I'd like to give a shout out to uh, all Team GPK. I, I miss and love you guys very much, and uh, I'll never forget you. Oh. Let's check my MIR. Yeah, I had to do it because they are just a great bunch of guys over there. MIRC guys over there. MIRC, hit me up. E Rev pound E dash Rev, hit me up. Total Science. I'm here waiting. All right. Well, we'll, we'll get I'm you the next uh, match now top. that you're uh, up and uh, running an IRC. Way to go there, buddy. But uh, I got a few more to go here. Got <laughs> one from uh, one from Thief. Shout out to Matic from Thief. And let's see. Got uh, one from Triction PXM Scum. Much love to DT Landry. Uh, another one coming in from Stress. TFS is going to win, of course, and Char has horrible predictions. <laughs> and then he says after that, never mind that shout-out, this one. Okay, so there's your next shout-out there, Stress. Uh, too bad you got Stress. Uh, too bad you got the last uh, Too bad you got the last one on. But uh, remember the team name fatigue. We will be known. 
Another one coming in from Anna and wanna give a shout wanna give a shout out give a shout out to give a shout out to Buns. Buns Buns will you will you will you have will you have my babies. So uh, yeah, there's uh, there's always some sexual connotations going on out there. Got another one from Sourcey shout out for Stemo for being the fat kid who carries our team. One from Tune It Up, shout out to Gator, John and Ray. Got another one from uh, Gator Vale, uh, from TL. Shout out to Vista and Payroll from Gator Valley or Vale. Sup, homies? And he says, "Love me, Shanks. Shanks, shout for me, Donka." So there you go, uh, Gatorville. Got you your shout out, and I got last, got last one, 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 got last one. Coming in, and I believe, yep. Um, got one from Adam F11. Shout out to Total. Shout out to Total. Did a good job. And uh, just imagine what he can do uh, for the second match and matches uh, here on out. Uh, he, that's his first cast tonight. So congratulations to you, Total, on a uh, on a great match. Uh, great great job shout casting. So there's my shout out to you. And uh, of course, folks, again, get on our forums www.e-rev.tv forward slash forums. Thank you all for tuning in, thanking our producers for doing the video tonight. We'll be live back with you here in about 15 minutes. And uh, it's Big Daddy Shanks going off the air.